really, 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 really wound up because we have, okay, we have a lot of new things that are coming up. I know. You know, part of it is weird. I am so excited about things that are going on. I'm having a hard time standing still. Of course, we were at a Kickstarter panel earlier today. We learned all the ups and downs, the things we did not do. But I know it's becoming much, much bigger of a deal. Anyway, there's a lot of things going on. My head is just spinning. But news still continues. And we're going to bring old Kim on with some comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> Okay, this is a member, a new member of our family. This is Hunter, a cooling and heating pack from courtesy of Thermal Aid, who will from now on be portraying the role of Bear of the Market. And his first his first prediction today is that if you pay any attention to anything you say on any of the financial shows, you're basically this side of Bear of the Market. <laughs> and Romney urges young people to take economic risks. Yeah, uh, Obama doesn't want, Obama wants to cradle the grave the government to pay attention to you. And uh, Romney says, get off your rear end and go out and attempt to do something. I mean, uh, okay, uh, the Obama presidency and the Democratic Party have made it impossible for people to sell lemonade on the sides of streets now. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they've regulated lemonade stands out of existence. Who is going to, okay, um, the one thing that we have learned this week at Digital Hollywood is is that what the United States actually does best is it it basically exports technology and entertainment. The President of the United States is killing both of these fields. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The University of Pennsylvania Dean faked a PhD. Yeah, there's a lot of that, a lot of that going on. Um, a lot of people basically shouldn't have doctorates. I mean, I actually went to school. I really did go to class to get mine. Mm. I actually, I'm a, I'm a vet. <laughs> Many people would claim being a vet. And disgraced cyclists land a subject of fraud investigation. Oh God, I mean, this basically, this after this land this guy. Okay, the problem is, is that everybody in the world of cycling fudges on taking drugs. Okay, you think that people actually can cycle like that? I mean, like people just winning year after year, no matter how old they are. They're all, you know. They're, they they been they said they don't break the rules but they sure as heck bend the rules a lot and people don't like the bending of the rules it's just like okay what Roger Clemens did wasn't illegal when he did it but he lied about doing it uh, what Mark McGuire did was not illegal when he did it he didn't lie that he did it but they still didn't like the fact that he was doing it Hulk Hogan did it because okay what happens is you're a big strong muscular athlete you damage a muscle. You take like anti-steroids or these other things in order to heal the muscles. And basically it's on a doctor's prescription most of the time. So what you're doing isn't illegal, but what it does, it turns a little guy like Barry Bonds was into a big muscular hunk that can no longer run again. And student loan bill passed under veto threat. Obama won. Okay, Obama's idea is that the rich should pay for the for the other people not having to ever pay anything. And that they, what happened was Republicans said, we'll take it out of the Obama slush fund for health care. No, that's going to be a, you're anti-woman, you can't do that. Well, the Senate is going to pass a thing that's going to be paid for by a combination of raising fees and basically taking money from the Obama health slush fund because the Democrats are scared to death. You may have a president that's only going to have 30% of the vote and becomes president, he's going to take the Democratic Party with him because they're going to lose their seats because they're, 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 you're not going to elect Obama to the presidency and give him the Senate. That's not going to happen. And Dalton, stuck in California wetlands, draws a crowd. Oh, the, the, this is, the, okay, Bear can give him a thing. He said, Bear, is it true that they are saying that this dolphin is a victim of bullying? They know the dolphin's been bullied. And six things you should know about U.S. immigration. Well, there is no illegal immigration. You cannot say the word illegal. These people are here. They're friends. That they're helping our country grow. They're not taking people's jobs from them. They're creating jobs. And they are all paying their taxes. Can we say BS to the whole bunch? Mm -hmm. I don't have Bull with me. He's in another place today. And woman allegedly calls in bomb threat over... 
$14 electric bill? Wait, she called it a bomb threat? Yeah, I'm going to blow you well, What in up. the world? Okay, first of all, you have to be careful what you're saying because I was thinking about this morning when I have a family member that's basically caught up in the, um, in the, uh, no fly thing is going to cost them a million bucks to get. Oh my this. God! Yeah, um, years ago, uh, you know, Bob Hope basically had an airplane. Was talking to one of the people with him, and you know, as they're waiting in line, but even stars wait in line to go to the bathroom on airplanes. He's talking about, you know, God, I bombed last night, and all people heard was bomb. Oh, and, uh, yeah. And, and in LA, they use bombed as like, it didn't. Oh, God, I bombed here, I bombed. But you there. know what? Now they say that's the bomb and it's really good. Yeah, so. But don't say it on an airplane. Oh, don't say it on an airport, don't say it on an airplane, and don't say it if you got a utility bill that's not that's been overcharged. Actually, we could do a whole thing on words that you should be careful of saying. Well, virtually every word, okay. I heard the thing, or was it last night? They said that every time you. Open the door to your house. You commit three felonies. Oh, breaking and entering. Yeah, no. It says if every time you go out through the front door of your house to do anything, you commit three felonies really? every day. Yeah. So that basically everything you do is illegal anymore. Hmm. Portland bomb plot suspects father alerted FBI. Well, yeah, because uh, basically the way it works is your kid doesn't get as big a jail term if he doesn't kill anybody. Oh. Yeah, and basically what happens is, this is, okay, what the Democrats didn't like was when, okay, how Bill Clinton handled the uh, welfare problem by cutting people off the rolls, he made families of the people on welfare responsible for paying the bills. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the kid blows something up, they sue the father for damages, and it ruins him. So what you do is you, you know, you, you do what any sensible parent does, you sacrifice your kid for your own butt. An Oklahoma death row inmate executed in shooting death. Well, you know, it's, um, um, but basically, they be, uh, they were demanding that the Supreme Court immediately, they didn't want him, they didn't want a retrial, they wanted his release because he would not have killed these people if, uh, if these people hadn't had so much, and they were responsible for their own deaths. And Princeton freshmen who rush frats face suspension. I mean, this is unbelievable. That if a freshman wants to join a fraternity now, he can be thrown out of the school for joining a fraternity. Because what? Princeton is now in the hands of the politically correct left. Oh. It's an Ivy League college that basically is in the hands of the left. It should be, a, it should be a, a, a moderate college because it's Ivy League, folks. You ever know Ivy Leaguers ever get in trouble? And car bomb kills six after Obama leaves Afghan capital. Well, you know, they were basically the Taliban showing they could have done it when he was there. A New York City man convicted in thwarted subway bomb plot. Oh, okay. Basically, here the thing is, if you don't want to go to jail, don't tell people you're doing something. Oh, is that what it is? Don't ever tell people what you're doing. The problem is, these people have all got massive egos. What you do is you wait till something is done, and even if you didn't do it, you take credit for it after the fact. And Georgia bans most late terms abortions and assisted suicide. Well, yeah, because assisted suicide is basically not really guaranteed under the Constitution. And, and even the Democrats basically won't go along with late term abortion except for the health of the woman. And suspect arrested in Navy veterans fundraising scam. Oh, they're always scamming veterans. The biggest scam that veterans always have is, is buying um, ground is big, water, you know, um, land is 15 foot under some water. They used to remember, they used to get sold a lot of ground in Florida. And 13 years of perfect attendance, a student nears 2,000 days in a row. Well, I know, but it seems to me that that's 13 years. You only go to school for 12 years, folks. Yes, and he's 13. Looks... There's something wrong with that. I, I, I figured there was something wrong with that when I heard it. 12 uh, that years. Is kindergarten? Is, uh, that's what or does it include college? Uh, it includes, uh, okay, basically, they don't really include kindergarten because, you know, so at first he's going 12, to school year round? I don't know. He, he, he basically, he's in his 13th year of school. Mm. OSS agent who led World War II rescue of 500 guys in New York. Yeah, George Lukovich, people. I, mean, I, knew, I met George Lukovich, so he was a nice guy, basically. He was a, he was a Secret Service agent, uh, actually off overseas intelligence and politician, all these things. So he had a long life. And man willing to change his name to be able to attend an Apple event. 
Yeah, because he changed his name, like, to, uh, basically his name was the wrong name, and to get to the Apple event, he had to change it to a name that they basically were allowed through the door. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, some names were on the band list. Oh, and a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, BS will do this one today instead of Monty. BS says simply that unemployment rate does not go down because people are not looking for jobs. It only goes down when people find jobs.